My name is Rachel Frank. I'm a sports medicine specialist, team physician, and director of the Joint Preservation Program at the University of Colorado in Denver and Boulder. The article we'll discuss today is two-stage revision anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction, a systematic review of bone graft options for tunnel augmentation. The number one take-home point of this study is that there are a variety of graft choice options that can each result in successful graft incorporation during two-stage revision ACL reconstruction. In brief, this was a systematic review of seven studies with 234 patients undergoing a staged revision ACL reconstruction. Four of these studies discussed using autographed bone, while two discussed using allograft product, and one study actually compared iliac crest autograft to a synthetic bone substitute. Overall, due to the heterogeneity of the studies included in this review, the findings are unfortunately somewhat limited. Only four of the seven studies reported on the average duration between staging, which was an average of 6.1 months, and only four of the seven studies reported on imaging findings, including x-rays in some studies. Of the five studies that reported on failures after the revision ACL reconstruction, the studies that utilized autographed during their stage one revision ACL reconstruction had lower rates of failure compared to those studies using allograft, although the numbers are too small to statistically compare. Certainly, there's a lot of factors at play with respect to bone grafting during staged revision ACL reconstruction, and this study tells us a little bit more about what we can expect when we use allograft versus autograft and how patients will do following the revision ACL reconstruction. Certainly, more work is needed in this important area of ACL reconstruction and revision ACL reconstruction.